Hello YouTube viewers and random BattleBots fans, today we'll be reviewing this, which is the Hexbug Rivals Beta and Minotaur set, and here it is in its box. Along the bottom we get the BattleBots logo with Rivals beneath this, and it is head-to-head -head remote control combat. The window display is very creative, with both toys shown in their exploded mode, and the BattleBots arena behind them at an angle, and both controllers are displayed in their own pods on each side. On the back we get a write-up on both robots, and you can pause the video if you want to read any of this, as well as the other toys in the range, and some simple instructions instructions on how to use the controller. So that's it for the box, let's open it up and take a look at the toys themselves. Alrighty, so here we have Minotaur and Beta, and once again Hexbug have done an amazing job. Starting off with Minotaur, you can see the chisels on each side of the drum, while the drum itself has been recreated perfectly with the blade across one side and the counterweight on the back. On the top you can see the white Minotaur design which matches the one on the real robot, alongside the various bolts which have been moulded into the plastic, and the wheels on each side. The sides again feature a few bolts as well as the Minotaur logo, while the back is just a plain matte black. On the underside we get the on off button, as well as the battery compartment, and the legal flurbundin. Moving across to Beta, this again looks excellent. The front panel has four bolts moulded onto it, as well as the raised ridges at the top. The side panels again look basic, but match those seen on the robot. However, they are much lighter in colour than real life, yet contain this nice glossy metallic effect. The back is just bare and much more stunted than the actual machine, but this allows you to see some of the circuitry inside. On the top we have the mount for the hammer, which not only looks like the actual mechanism, but operates the weapon too, with the cogs connected to the teeth on the end of the arm. The arm itself features the support struts inside it and again looks very accurate. The hammerhead is rounded on both sides and painted a glossy black. On the underside you can see that Beta has the smallest wheels used on a Hexbug toy in this range to date, alongside the standard on off button, the battery compartment and the legal jifumbang. So both of these toys look amazing when it comes to detail. Turning to features, the armour panels can be snapped off, Minotaur's top panel and sides can be knocked away with the sides held on using magnets, while Beta's side panels can also be knocked away along with the front panel too. This adds a lot of fun during play, but also allows you to see into the various mechanisms and electronics through their outer transparent shell, and I really appreciate the amount of work that has gone into creating these toys. The panels are replaced and held on fairly well, but Beta has the weakest sides as these can fall off quite easily. Easily. Both toys are of course remote controlled using these tiny controllers. They're the same design as those that came with Tombstone and Witch Doctor and feature forward and back as well as left and right controls, a button to activate the weapon and a channel shifter so all four Hexbug toys released so far can be played with in one fight. They're hooked up to the controllers by pressing the on off button at the bottom and they will instantly connect to the closest controller. A nice addition is that a blue LED above Minotaur's weapon will turn on when the toy is active. So enough talk, let's fight, let's go test them out. Both toys are incredibly quick and highly responsive, allowing them to move easily around the BattleBots arena. They are in a tank steering setup so can spin on the spot, making them even more manoeuvrable. To activate Minotaur's weapon, press the button on the controller which will make it spin steadily, much like the spinners on Witch Doctor and Tombstone. It's very fast and powerful, making the entire toy vibrate as it rotates, even creating a loud buzzing noise. With Beta, I'm really impressed, as I thought the axe would just constantly swing up and down when the button is pressed, but instead press the button once to have the hammer swing down, and press it again to make it retract. It is quite powerful and fast when swinging down, and a little slower as it retracts, and unfortunately it can't self right the robot when it's upside down. As for actual fighting, Minotaur is definitely the superior toy, with its spinning bar able to throw Beta's armour across the arena. Don't get me wrong, I like Beta's weapon too, but it can be hard to land a proper strike with the hammer due to the speed of both robots. But when you do manage to land a blow, it can pop Minotaur's top panel off. And doing a size comparison, Minotaur and Beta are in a good scale with the Witch Doctor and Tombstone toys from the same range, and are much bigger than the Push Strike toys, while they are somewhat smaller than the Clutch and Clash toys. So overall, what do I think of this set? I love this! The detail on both toys is excellent, as is the remote control feature, and I especially appreciate the work that's gone into making the weapons operate, particularly on beta. It is so much fun playing with these toys. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that these are robots in their own right, because they operate so similarly to the real machines. 
I don't care how old you are. Kids will get a real thrill out of seeing the panels flying off the robots. Teenagers and young adults will enjoy the technology aspect of them. And adults will probably enjoy them as a safer version of ant weight robot fights that you can have at home. I love all four of these robots that Hexbug have released so far. And I can only hope that they continue to make more of them. As these are without question some of the best toys I have ever collected. I also want to give my thanks to Mike from the YouTube channel Mr. Psycho 2 without whom this video would not be possible. He does hilarious and insightful reactions to Battlebots, Robot Wars, Robotica and even techno games. They're really entertaining videos so please go subscribe and show him some love. There's a link in the description below and he along with some other robotic combat genius nerds such as myself are working on bringing you a brand new show on his channel called Fight Court which will be debuting very soon so please stay tuned for that. But anyway, what do you think of these toys? Are you going to be picking some up? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, please do hit subscribe for more videos and keep up to date with my upcoming reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter as well. Links in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.